and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be seeing on how to make chatterboxes. So chatterboxes are fun little like paper toys that you can actually make at your home and we also call them chip chops. So if you have heard them like that then that's what they call chip chops or chatterboxes. So basically they are like they are like in shape of squares have these numbers in front and then you can have like these kind of numbers and then kind of like there so you have different airs so yeah so different airs that you can do or trips or for example for Christmas that is coming up we have this Christmas joke chatter boxes like why do mummies like Christmas because there's tons of wrapping so it's basically like that so you can do it anything anyhow but you have to have the basic shape so let's get started with that so the first thing you will be needing is and if you have like an origami sheet of paper then you're already set to go but if you don't have it like me having if you have an a for size sheet of paper then that's okay so I'm using a yellow one so I'm just gonna open it and I'm gonna make a square so by folding it into a triangle like this yeah sometimes it is a bit too challenging so I'm just gonna um, Okay, I've got it. Did I? No, I didn't see. So I'm gonna try to fold it again. So I have finally got it. So if you've got the shape, so you just have to cut this out and remember to use parents' guidance if you're trying to set home and if you're under the age of five. And if we don't know how to use a scissors properly. So I'm gonna cut this up and I'm gonna show you. So I've cut it. So you can use you can make you can use this paper to make your own mini chip chop or chatter box. So I'm gonna leave this aside for now and this. So now if I open it, you would have got the big square. So now I've got this big line. So I fold it this way. So now I'm gonna take this edge, I'm gonna fold it here. So if you're not really good at folding, just hold it one point and then just check if it's like that. Okay, it is. Now check the other side. Is it? It is? Yes. So now you're going to hold it and then, oops. <laughs> okay. So you can use a ruler and then sharpen it down. Yeah. I think that's how it's going to go, but I'm just going to. Otherwise, use your finger and, and make it like a leg and then just make it walk. And you would have got, and next, I just got this extra fold here. Don't mind that. So now you've got this, the X, like the middle point of it. So now I'm going to take this and I'm just going to place it in the middle one, like that. So I'm going to hold it and now I'm just going to see if it's accurate. It is. I'm just gonna press it down. So I'm gonna do this all. I mean, I'm gonna do this on all sides. So you gotta make this end to the center. So you know the center. So this is the X. If you can see properly, this is my center. My last one. Okay, so now once you have got this, make it into a square. So, like that. So basically, you've got this. Now I'm gonna flip it over. I'm gonna do the same. So I'm gonna take this, okay, and put it here. So we've got it. So basically, once you've folded it inside, do the first land up with a big square got this the center point i'm gonna fold it here so now i've got a little slighter smaller square so now i'm gonna 
So this one, I'm going to flip it to its back. And I've still got the center point, just like the plus and the center point there. So I'm going to take this uh, flat. I'm going to fold it right in the center there. Let me zoom in, in for you. So you can see, fold it right in the center. So I'm going to follow that. I personally like to use my finger, but you can use a video too. Remember to subscribe to my channel, like and share this video, click the notification bell button so that you get notified whenever we post a new video. Okay. Almost there. Doesn't like have to be that accurate. Like mine is not accurate. If you can see here, it's overlapping it. But I don't. But I think it's not going to be a problem. So now you would, you should have um, ended up like this. Ooh, and I forgot to wish everybody a Merry Christmas. Okay, so now let's get started. I mean, let's get on. So now basically we would have ended up with these flaps, this flap. So now I'm gonna just fold, oops, fold this like this. You gotta fold it in half and remember this way yeah, so that you can put it there. Now I'm gonna slowly, gently fold it. Ta da! So in my other box, tutor boxes, I folded it like this, put my hands in there, done. My hands are oops, in the other one, and I'm gonna do something that might corrupt it. But then, like once you've done it, after some time, we just like just hold the shape. So then, so that's what you're gonna basically do. Put one of your finger and one of your finger for the moment of truth. And this. I just bend it, okay? So basically, once once you've folded it like that, you gotta bend it. Doesn't matter. Look at mine. It's folded here. It always happens in almost every one that I've done. So I thought it might work today, but it did not. But you'd have ended up like this. You can use it as a folder, but. It's more fun to use it like this. So now I'm going to decorate it and you'll see what this will do. So guys, I'm going to use my magic wand and bracadabra. Look at that. So I'm going to show you what I've done. So I've wrote the numbers on here, like where you put our fingers. So I've got nine five one seven. You can use anything. You can do colors or numbers or anything. I just picked numbers. Then I flipped it, and then I've got blue and pink, red and orange, green and yellow. The yellow is a neon. Uh, golden and purple. Okay. So I want to show you what I've done here. So. In green, I've opened it and write, do something you have never done before. In yellow, I've done, write in your weekend. In red, it sing a song, and in orange, is scream. That's it. Okay. Uh, blue is act like a monkey, and pink is do something crazy. Okay. Golden is be scary, like act like a ghost or something. And purple is act like a celebrity. I mean, I couldn't think of anything else. I just squashed up my head and this is what I came. This is what the result is. So, hope you guys like this video. Remember to subscribe to my channel. Click the bell button so that you get notified when we post a new video. Smash that like button. Share my video and my channel. So before I go, I'm wishing you, you and your family, a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. So I hope you guys have a safe and safe Christmas. So I'll see you guys in the next video.
Bye.